like, okay, let's try to work on this week as opposed to, you know, just basically clarifying the fact that, you know, Amanda's not going to vote for him to lose based on the fact that he told her to go kill herself or something like that. And it's like nobody can think like that. We're not Amanda. Amanda's got to, and also it's a comparative vote here. You know what I'm saying? As of right now. Right? So I'm saying, like, what I'm trying to say is that everything I've done in this game has been strictly strategic, one million percent. I shouldn't even be here. And because of the fact that, you know, the house wanted it and whatever, it's the first week we're all getting used to it. Ryan and I just happened to luck out and be on the block that week and luck out and still be here, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this right. is this is more of a strategy than Ryan and I's week, even though ours was much more torturous and strenuous, for sure. It was longer. Yeah, it was longer. You know, that's the case. Oh, I respect you. You know? And I would have been happy for Parker and Jen if they had stayed. I've said that since day one, and I do feel that way. You know? You did say that. You said it to me. You said it to them. You said, told everyone in this house. I mean, I, and I mean that, because it's the only way that we could have played fairly. Like you said, you didn't know your partner for 14 days. Right. Exactly. And I was also shunned by every single person in this house besides Sheila. And then Jen expects Sheila to give her, her vote. That's like just stupidness. That's just pure idiot. You know, right. if they were smart, and this is where I always say to people that they're not smart in the game, they would have gone after Chelsea and James and made them a deal. Or they would have gone after Josh and Sh Joshua and Sharon. They didn't think. And that's not my fault. Who? Uh Jen and Parker. And that's why I'm saying to you, I don't understand your philosophy on not when you're supposedly friends with this person and I understand that you really are friends but you know people are trying to save themselves all right you're right you're you right know? Uh, then it might be my downfall but I just want to let you know mm -hmm. that like when I said about my word and that's the you know God's honest truth that maybe you would respect that I do respect it but you're not willing to give much of it either you're not willing to say I give you my word X Y and Z okay so then if I tell you I'll save you next week right what what more does that do to me if I tell you at that instant than if Maddie told you the same thing because every single thing that Maddie has ever told me good or bad towards me has been 100 percent legitimate he told me he would not use the POV he did not use the POV and I know you guys are saying that's a house decision, but I could have, I, I truly feel that I could have said, hey, you know, um, you know, use it on like me. And maybe I could have convinced him if I wanted to work that hard. But I wanted to take Jen down. And even if it meant me going down, I wanted to take Jen down based on the fact that she started so much shit in this house about me. And I have been the fucking fresh meat since day one, period, period. And that is the truth. You know, and nothing that she's ever done has ever really been um, smart to me. Like, you know, moves that she's made. I mean, not even, co you know, consoling her best friend in the house when she was just told to go kill herself and stuff like that. I just don't find that. No, you're right. That's, that's where you got the gray line between the game and real people here, you know? I guess, you know, me being real doesn't mean much to you. It does. It does mean a lot to me. But I have no reason to think that, you know, Maddie is not being real to me. And you're saying he's talking shit about me in the diary room? Whatever. Like, you know, I'll, I'll figure out what that is. Try. Whatever. What's up, Alex? Here's my deal. I didn't bring you up early because it was something about her. But uh -huh. I've told her. Now I'm going to tell you because she feels that she doesn't want to say anything or go with anything or go against anything without you being here because you're a partner. And that's understandable. Yeah. Um, I told her earlier on she had come to me. They, she was working out in the pool with um, Amanda. In the beginning of the week when Power Veto did not, when it was not used, yeah. I told Maddie and Maddie told me that we would not campaign against yeah, each other. Effort, yeah. Okay. And yeah. I've never came to you. I've never came to Jane. I've never come to anyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. When people ask me, I just say, listen, I don't want to give you my word, and I don't want to say something that I will, because then that's campaigning or saving myself, okay? Yeah. So she was in the pool today, and she asked me, Alex, if you were to win head of household, would you put me up, or would you protect me with head of household, the power of veto? And I said, Allison, I don't want to give you a false answer, and I don't want to give you a true answer, because the fact is I feel I could be campaigning against Matt, and it could get back to him, so I'd rather leave the answer as... I don't want to uh, say anything. I understand that. Okay. But at the same time, from our point of view, we have to look at it like, you know, that's weird. If they don't want to make any deals with us, you know, maybe they have already made deals with everybody. It's everyone with in the house. everyone else's house, you know, and, you know, maybe we are the odd group out to where, you know, 